What is up, boys and girls? I'm Brett HD FIFA, and welcome to my Let's Talk transfer news. And today we have only got the Premiership news, as you can see by these players. You would have seen maybe in the news or Sky Sports or maybe even in the papers. So I have got some kind of information from the papers, Sky Sports and different kind of sources. I might put the actual... I will actually put the links down below in the description to say where I got them from. And you can go read where like kind of this has been coming from. So the first one we're going to do is Envia. Obviously there's been a lot of transfer news about him over the past year. Obviously Man City coming in for him. Then, kind of like, it just going out a bit. Arsenal coming in for him. And it does really look like Arsenal really, really want him. They have been kind of targeting him for around a year now. He doesn't seem a bad player. I've watched him not that much. Although, a few people have said he's good. A few people said he's bad. But I don't think he looks that bad. He is quite young as well, which is obviously a plus. He's only 22, I think he is, unless he's just turned 23. I think, yeah. So that's so that's obviously a plus. I don't think they'll be playing paying too much for him, especially because it's Arsenal. They don't like to overpay for a player, and if they say they have to overpay, they won't buy him, which is obviously a great tactic compared to Man City, where all they want to do is kind of overpay for players just to get their own way, which I still don't think is the right way because it is messing the transfer market up. So yeah, what do you think on that MVO going to Arsenal? Do you think it's the right move for them? Do you think it's not? Do you think they need any more players? I still think they need a defender. Obviously, if Van Persie goes, I still think they need a backup striker because I don't think Schmack's going to be worthy. I think if they get another striker, and I think they'll do fine. I still think they might do fine anyway, as long as they get another defender in. So next we come on to Theo Walcott. Obviously said that if Van Persie leaves, he wants to leave. He's obviously very, very good friends with Van Persie. So I can really see where Van, uh, Walcott's coming from now. I, I I don't get why Arsenal don't try and keep them both. I know it is going to be hard because they're not got the money that City and Chelsea have. So it is going to be very, very difficult for them to even like challenge for the Premier League anymore. But I think if they can keep Walcott, I think they've got a good player there. He is only young, so he can adapt and kind of get better. But I know Southampton do want him. They want him back. This is only paper talk as well with Southampton. So if they get him back, that is obviously a great signing for them. I don't know if it's going to be on a loan or if it's actually going to be buying him. But if they get him back, that'll be quality for them. So next we go on to Santi Carzola. So he moved to Malaga for, well, obviously money, just like everyone else does now. And... Well, as you saw in the news recently, they have been in a lot of debt. So he really wants to really wants to leave Malaga now. Of mainly because of the reason obviously he won't be getting paid as much or he might not even be getting paid. Obviously we've seen this with Rangers in the recent last few months, which is obviously a shame. So the teams that really want him is again Arsenal. They want him is this so they can replace him with what's his name with Walcott? If it is, then obviously Walcott looks like he will be going, and that is kind of a shame for Arsenal. Although he he seems quite old, he's 28, so that is that's not that old for a winger. But he hasn't got as many years as Walcott has, which is a shame. I don't know how much he they want to buy or pay for him, but I hardly doubt it's going to be that much, considering they're in a lot of debt. So they'll just be trying to sling their players away just to get some money in. Next we come to De Rossi, he's a centre defensive mid, 83, and Man City seem to be the only one that I have actually seen from the Premier League that wants him. Obviously that is just because of the African Cup of Nations in January, when Yaya Torre goes away they will need a backup and as some of you guys will know Yaya Torre has been a rock for Man City and when he goes away they did really struggle, they lost a lot of games, they lost the FA Cup against United, the Carling Cup and they really did struggle so I think someone like De Rossi could be very very worthy, could really really do well for City if he gets the playing time and if he actually fits in with the thing, with the actual team. He is 27, 29, so, well, 20, yeah, 29, so obviously that's still quite old, but it kind of depends on how, uh, like, much they want to pay for him. If they want to pay a lot, then we all know they will because it's City, but... I guess if he's if he's a really good player like everyone well like a few people say he is then surely he is worth it. I don't know. I haven't really watched him so I can't really say. 
Next, we come on to Sahin. There's two teams in this. There's Tottenham and there's Arsenal again. Arsenal, again, want him on loan. They don't want to pay for him. Sahin said that he doesn't want to actually stay at a club. They, he obviously wants to actually play for, live, um, for Real Madrid. But I still don't think he's going to be getting the playing time, say, if he's at Tottenham or if he's at Arsenal. If he's at Arsenal, he will. Tottenham, I really don't think he will, unless Van der Vaart goes. That is the only thing with him. He doesn't seem a bad player. Haven't watched him much. Obviously, he hasn't played for Real Madrid much. But if they're getting him on a loan, I think all they need to do is play him a bit. Real Madrid will then notice if he's good or bad. And then I think it might be very, very decent for him and his kind of playing career, really. He's only young as well. He's only 24. Yeah, he's only 24. So that is really, really good for him. Last one today, we have Joe Allen. So there's one really main team. I think Tottenham won him as well, as as lo along with that Sigurdsson. So I think them two really paired up really well when Brendan Rodgers was at Tot um was at Swansea. So that is one reason I think Brendan Rodgers won Allen, mainly because he is he's really good at passing. He's got like the vision. He's got literally everything. But I. I don't know if he's going to be the player for Liverpool. He's coming from a lower, kind of like a lower club. Obviously, he was in a lower league. And I just don't think he is worthy of his price tag. I know Liverpool really want him and Tottenham. But I just can't really see him performing. I can see him being a bit like Charlie Adam on and off. And I just don't think it's going to work for Liverpool. So I wouldn't really think that Liverpool would actually go through with this and actually buy him. Although if he does and he proves me wrong, then fair enough. Then good for Liverpool and good for Allen. I still don't think that will work out. So I don't know. I think it's around 7 to £8 million they want to pay for him. Obviously it doesn't sound much considering how much Man City buy their players for. But still... That is still quite a lot of money considering how much they want to pay for such a small player at the moment. So obviously we don't know how he's going to perform. Obviously he's quite young, he's only 22. He can adapt, he can obviously grow in confidence and turn into a really good player. I hope he does, I hope he turns into a really, really good player. But yeah, so if you like this video guys obviously give it a like. I've been getting a few dislikes lately, I don't know why. Um, obviously I'd like to know why next time. Fair enough. But um, in the comment section below, say what players you want me to discuss next. Uh, I won't be doing the Premier League next. I'll be doing a different league, maybe like La Liga. And yes, so comment, like, favourite, subscribe. If we get 100, that's even good. If we get 150, that's even better. So see you in a bit, guys. See ya. Bye.